it's like it's not a very fragrant wine. Um, well, I, I, you know, I disagree with that. We're currently back over in uh, the old world and we're picking a wine mm-hmm. which we've spoken about many times. I think we spoke about it quite at length around the uh, Malbec yep. sort of area, but it is a Chianti Classico. Chianti Classico, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, in comparison, since you bring the Malbec uh, Malbec name to, to the table, it's very different in many, many aspects um, to a Malbec. But okay. Is um, okay since the name is there. I think is a good is good to compare uh, how different they are, not how similar, but how different. Okay. Well, the bottle that we have specifically is the 2019 Chianti Classico from Santa Margarita. Mm-hmm. Um, so obviously, it's under the thirty dollars threshold as we're trying to find the best budget bottles of wine. Yeah. Um, but. I'm excited to try this one mm. um, because I know you love old world wine. You do have a bias, even though you don't understand that you do. You don't love Australian <laughs> wine like you should. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, we've had this bottle open now for seven minutes, so we've given it a little chance to open up. And mm. let's go into colour of it yeah. first. And I do, is it me? I see like a bit of I see a bit of a clay brick edge. Like I know it's only 2019, three years, but I feel like it's. What's that? It's, it feels like it's got that garnety kind of color to it. Am I wrong? Am I assessing this wrong? Because mm. I know no, it's no. I know it's red. I know we're getting ruby on this. Yeah, no, no, no. It's red. It's uh, it's uh, it's a ruby red. Yes, but with uh, with that slight brick, uh, slight brown color. Do you, you see are right. that? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Even from, when you definitely when you swirl it. Even when you swirl, yes, exactly. You see at the bottom at the bottom of the glass is like red is a yeah. deep red like yeah. a sexy red almost uh-huh. uh, and then it gets to that dark um, dark color in the middle and then you know when it comes to the swirl to the sorry to the rim it is that brown brick color yeah um, why would that be is this the grape style like do you know how we've spoken about Nebbiolo and yeah. sometimes Sangiovese can have yeah. that color yeah so if you bring if you bring a Nebbiolo uh, from the 2019 vintage it will just be most often gentle paler in color and that's you know for most producer not necessarily always but overall you'll find that the nebbiolo is just a gentler um, paler in color but with a very similar tones in color but they can be incredibly difficult to distinguish between nebbiolo and sangiovese so this is another grape variety that you could throw on a back of uh, slightly paler in color so that is uh, Pinot Noir, that is Gamay, that is uh, Grenache, that is Nebbiolo and Sangiovese. Those are probably the five. So what grape is this? Sangiovese. Okay. Yeah, Sangiovese. Okay. So this is probably the five uh, or six grape varieties that you could throw in as as a slightly paler in color. Okay. All right. So we are obviously, um, where is, no, it's Tuscany. Tuscany, so yeah. Italian wine. So in uh, uh, Florence. Uh, in Tuscany, central uh, east, no, central west, sorry, central west of Italy, just further south from Liguria and Piemonte in the map of, of Italy, in the country. And uh, very close, is like really on the coast of um, uh, of the Mediterranean, so very, very much a Mediterranean uh, climate. And, uh, and yeah, Sangiovese just... F- Overall, I think it's, I strongly believe it's the most planted uh, red grape variety in Italy. Uh, definitely the most, one of the most well-known uh, alongside Nebbiolo as the most long-lived wines uh, from the country. Um, and and always, it's actually quite similar to Nebbiolo. If you smell that sourness. Oh, I'm ready. That, um, Should we yeah, smell? Let's do it. That sourness. Uh, Sour sherry, especially sour sherry. Nothing about this wine feels like it's gonna be sweet. It's savory, yeah, yeah, yeah. savory, sour, like harsh, almost harsh. You know. Yeah, I'm not getting. I'm not Vanish, getting. Uh, the nail polish. Nail polish. Yeah, a lot of that uh, VA that uh, that we volatile picked, acidity. Volatile acidity that we've picked before. There is a little bit of this as well, and that can be given to the wine through uh, exposure to oxygen in oak bar- old oak barrel and old or new but uh, I don't pick any new um, wood spice so I'm thinking you know old spi- old, uh, old, old oak to, to micro oxygenate the wine yeah and especially at this price point correct and yeah. allow, exactly right and allow for this um, 
uh, volatile acidity, like exposure to oxygen. Uh, Red fruits, but like it's like it's not a very fragrant wine. Um, well, I, I you know I disagree with that. I I think is I think is uh, I think is fragrant, but not in a fresh way. Okay, cheers. Um, but there's there's a, I think there's a lot more to it, you know, uh, which we haven't touched, like leather. Um, tobacco, dried tobacco leaf, uh, cured meat. It smells like you you get into um, a room full of uh, hanging hanging hams. Uh, if you go, I don't to, get that at all. It, no, no. I mean, it's, you're the master sommelier. That's why I love this podcast. But no, I'm get, so, I'm well off assessing that. It smells a lot like uh, cured meat, uh, cured meat, curing spices. I can't wait for the day that you assess wine. With some, like sometimes you say something hilarious, <laughs> and I just can't wait for you to be like, mm, mm, kids' childhood uh, plastic slide, <laughs> me like jumping castle, sweaty seventh sweaty, birthday, sweaty, sweaty jumping good. castle, sweaty smells like sweaty horse, yeah. sweaty horse, yeah, it smells like horse stable. <laughs> Horse horse, not like horse, horse, um, horse leather. Horse leather. Okay. It doesn't smell. It doesn't smell like. Uh, it doesn't smell like clean, yeah. fresh. You know, fairly one dimension with um, with the red fruit, sour yeah. sherry, raspberry. Dried. Everything is dried. Like high uh, acid, desiccated, high acid, high tannin, high in alcohol. Is it high in alcohol? Oh, yeah. 14 percent. Fourteen, yeah, fourteen, yeah. You you feel the alcohol burning, but then again, it's like it's that sour and uh, um, um, plum, plum, a lot of plum, dried plum, dried violet, uh, a little bit of cured meat on a palate, a little bit of mushroom, a little bit of tobacco, and that's it. I don't think there's you know two thousand nineteen. Mm. Yeah, that explains a little bit of tertiary aromas. This is, um, yeah, this is a bit disappointing, to be honest. For me, I'm talking about my own personal opinion. Uh, mm. I, When I bought this one, I was like, cool, Chianti Classico in our mm. price range, mm. um, you know. But then again, it's a, it's a style. I think if you if you bring this into a, a wine class um, and you and, and you give this as a, blind, as, as a, you know, as a Chianti Classico, I think it's, it fits. It hits the markets. It hits the markets, but not um, as it hits the markets for what it's meant to be. Is in like yeah, going yeah, through our yeah, body tannin, yeah, acid, yeah, etc. High acidity, high alcohol, high tannin. Um, but we're talking about sour, quality. It's yeah. not not there. That's a different story. Yeah. Yes, correct. I don't know. We're, we're, we're in Tuscany. We're in Italy. We're in Tuscany. We're in Italy. We're in uh, Florence. Uh, oh, classic Florentine super. steak. Uh, for sure, yeah, hundred uh, percent. A friend of mine, Tony, imagine. just came back from or posted up on her Instagram that yeah. uh, she just came back from there and posted up a Florentine steak, you and it just imagine, had me mouth watering. Uh, big protein, pr- big protein steak with all this tannin. What's all the this T-bone, alcohol. right? The T-bone, T-bone is a Florentine with that a lot of salt. parsley as well. They put that oh. herb on it, and I think it's like a lot of butter. It's unbelievable. Um, but yes, I, I also think you'd probably be wasting a great steak experience on this bottle, personal opinion. Obviously, yeah, exactly. it's not making our top three, but... Um, no, yeah. To this episode, thank you to our Got Some listeners. 